Hi, I'm out here in a local park braving the bitterly cold temperatures of a Southern California winter. Uh, today I'm going to be doing some operating from this park using an antenna in a bag. Hi, I'm Julian Frost, N3JF, your ham radio sensei. Onegaishimasu. Okay, before we go any further, let's talk about the star of the show, which is the MP1 Super Antenna. Uh, it comes in a nice, neat little bag here. It contains everything you need, except for some coax and maybe some other little tools. Uh, but it contains everything you need to actually put an antenna up and get on the air from anywhere between two meters and uh, 80 meters. Uh, it contains two resonators. This is the 80 meter resonator, which I frankly I haven't used. And uh, this is what we use for every other band. Uh, it contains a ground spike that you stick in the ground and you can actually attach your antenna system on the top here. And uh, also in this bag are various uh, pieces that you can use to uh, create a, a tripod so you can mount it on the ground. Um, also there's a clamp here, a little C-clamp that you can use to put on maybe a metal railing and use that. So let's go ahead and put this antenna together and then we'll put it out in the field over there where there's a baby crying right now and we will uh, see if we can get on the air. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is put the uh, extender together. You just screw this together. They do recommend a drop of oil on the threads here, which I've done in the past, just so that you can get it apart. You don't need tools to put this together at all. Now we have the resonator, which we're gonna put in here. We're gonna make sure we put it on the right side, right? So the resonator extends the coil here, so it goes into the end where the coil is, not at the other end. That's where your whip end's gonna go. Like so. Then we screw that into the, uh, the base mount here. Put that down for a second. We have some uh, radials here, which come in the kit. And then the actual antenna, or the whip section of the antenna, fits in the exterior of the bag, like so. It's made out of uh, titanium alloy. So it doesn't distort much when it's kept there for a while. That just plugs into the top here, screw it all in. And that is the antenna almost ready to go. I haven't yet really discussed the radio side of this little setup. Uh, the radio itself is the Yesu FT891. I'm going to be powering it off a BioNO 1212A battery, and this battery should last about five hours um, when I'm using this on single sideband at 100 watts. Uh, of course, I will need to attach the antenna to the radio, but first of all, we actually have to tune the antenna. So how we do that is we use this little gauge that uh, Super Antenna has provided, and we'll show you a close-up as I'm talking here, but uh, you place this little notch on the bottom of the resonator, and you extend the resonator up to wherever it says on here. Uh, so for example, 20 meters or 30 meters, you'd put it here and that gets you in the ballpark. From there on, you're gonna have to do a little bit of uh, manual adjustment just by seeing maybe where the SWR meter says it's resonant and adjusting accordingly. Um, I'm planning on going a little bit faster than that. I bought the, uh, uh, the Rig Expert A230 Zoom. Um, this is a very handy little uh, antenna analyzer, so I can plug the antenna on here, make a few adjustments very quickly, and see where my antenna is resonant. So uh, let's go do that. First of all, I'm going to attach the analyzer here. Make sure it's all nice and uh, fully connected. And I'm actually going to walk it over there just a little bit, uh, so it makes it easier for me to uh, adjust the antenna. Okay, so the antenna is now in the ground. Uh, it's somewhat vertical, uh, which is a good thing. And uh, I have the handy dandy gauge that Super Antenna gives. Um, I'm gonna be moving this coil up and down like so, and aligning it with the uh, 20 meter mark here. Now, since I've used this antenna a few times before, I know that this gauge is a little bit off for this particular antenna. So I put a little notch so my fingertip can, uh, can feel it, my fingernail can feel it. So what I'm gonna do is uh, place the gauge at the bottom of the antenna, move it up 
in line with that little notch that I have, which is actually on this particular gauge between uh, 14 and 13 megahertz. So I'm gonna slide it down here and that will get us in the ballpark as to where this antenna is gonna be resonant. Um, I've put the radials out, as you can see here. They just go out in a radial pattern. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use the antenna analyzer to see where the, uh, the antenna is actually resonant. If it shows that it's too high, it means that the antenna is too short. If it shows it's resonant below my operating frequency, then the antenna is too long. And I'll just make adjustments accordingly. I don't need this anymore. I'll just adjust a little bit at a time, either up or down, make it shorter or longer uh, until I get the uh, SWR where I want it to go. Okay, uh, moment of truth. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna turn this on. See if we have any signals on 20 meters. Turn the volume up. Signals are coming in. Okay, some slow scan. I mean, just booming in. I don't know who I go with because I haven't been watching this season over. It's a Super Bowl weekend. Yeah, very good. I hear you. I switched to a different wire antenna there. Uh, yeah, I haven't watched a whole lot either. I haven't really watched it. So let's find a quieter frequency and uh, put out a CQ, or at least see where our SWR is. So I've got SWR showing here right now. So 235 sounds clear. Close enough, let's just see. Four, four, so as we can see, it's below, uh, as we expected from the an antenna analyzer, it's below uh, uh, 1.5 to one. So that's good. So let's find a good, a good frequency and we'll put out a CQ, see if we can get somebody come back to us. November 3, Japan, Florida. November 3, Japan, Florida, 5 9 Chittenden. Roger, Roger, you're 5 and 5 in Orange County, California. Go ahead. Thank you, Whiskey One, November, Victor Tango. Hey, not bad. I did a pile up on my first call out. All right, uh, that was clearly a special event station. Um, I have no idea what it was for, but this antenna, I mean, I borrowed it from the store just to sort of try it out. Uh, I ended up buying it. Um, it's a really cool tool, a really cool antenna for the money. Uh, I love it. Um, I will admit that uh, using an antenna analyzer to get, get it tuned uh, is a real help because otherwise you're running out to the antenna, making small adjustments, coming back, checking it on your radio for SWR, moving back out. With an antenna analyzer, if it shows that it's uh, resonant higher, well, then the antenna is too short. If it's showing that it's too low, well then the antenna is too long. And you just adjust it accordingly and you barely have to go anywhere. Just press a button. So um, that is the antenna in a bag, the Super Antenna MP1. Available, of course, at Ham Radio Outlet. I'm Julian Frost, N3JF, your Ham Radio Sensei. Arigato gozaimasu. We have the antenna, but first of all, we need to tune that antenna. So, um, Super Antenna provides this little gauge that you hold up against the uh, 